With the millions of things you can create in After Effects, it's always best to stay on top of your game. To help with that, here are some of the coolest After Effects techniques you can start using now. Anytime you want to quickly stylize and add that project enhancing texture to your project, just create an adjustment layer and apply the texturize effect from stylize. Then set the texture layer drop down to, well, your texture layer. From here, you can adjust the settings and you'll be popping off with a great texture for your project. If you want to create hand-drawn elements, you can do it in real time. Just get yourself a solid layer and the handy brush tool. Make sure the duration is set to right on under the paint panel, then double click the solid layer and draw out your design. Then set it to transparent and now you have a fully animated line without much effort. Instead of using boring and standard animations, you can spice everything up with the overshoot animation. Just move your last keyframe over and increase the amount to be higher than the final value of your last keyframe. Then make sure the first and last keyframes are easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. Then just move out those keyframes in the graph editor. And then in a matter of like 10 seconds, you have an overshoot animation. You know, who doesn't love new features? Well, now we can create powerful 3D particle maps with the new displace parameters added to the ball action effect. So just add the ball action effect to your footage, for example, and set the grid spacing to zero, lower the ball size, then you can adjust the displace value to watch your footage become particles from a 3D perspective. You can even create a mask around the areas that you want to keep from being displaced. And if you rotate this in 3D, you can see that this is pretty legit. You may have noticed that my After Effects UI is a different color from yours. In the factory options of After Effects, you cannot easily change the UI highlight color. To do this, we have to mod After Effects. So hit Control F12 or Command F12 if you're on a Mac, and this will bring up the hidden console window, which I didn't know ever existed. But from here, click the hamburger icon and select Debug Database View. Then search and type for enable underscore theme underscore colorizing. Then just set it to true. Now we can go to edit, preferences, appearance. And you'll notice you'll be able to change the highlight color from here. This won't make your work better, but at least now you can run After Effects on veteran difficulty if you choose the same color as the After Effects background. And as a bonus trick, if you want to speed up your workflow, be sure to get our 100 free template pack for After Effects linked below. We also have over 25,000 plus templates available for AE and Premiere Pro. So if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. Another new feature added into After Effects is the ability to integrate OBJ 3D objects into your scene, which means you can either create or search up OBJ models and animate them in your After Effects project. I could create a full tutorial on this, so we'll just leave it here. If you want to create accurate shapes, or should I say congruent shapes that have an objective length, go to view and click show grid. When you create a shape with the pen tool, you can use the grid to easily design objects that have the same length on each side. Fairly similar to the live recording brush tool, you can live record, say, character animations with the puppet pen tool. Just set your points on your object like you normally would using the puppet pen tool, and then while holding control on your keyboard, you can move a pen any way you want to animate your object. This will capture the movement and apply the motion to your final animation. Pretty cool. This next trick is nothing hidden, but just food for thought when it comes to title design. When working with titles, you can swap the fill to stroke with one click in the character panel. You can even adjust the stroke width as well, but overall, this quick idea can help variate and make your titles awesome. And now for the last trick, which is creating beautiful gradient backgrounds. And the reason for this technique is because we all try using gradients every now and then. Sometimes the gradient ramp effect is just not cutting it. Well, try this instead. Create a bunch of random circles and change the colors uh, a few times. Basically, just become the Jackson Pollock of circles. Then, apply the Gaussian Blur effect to an adjustment layer. From here, you can increase the amount to a ridiculous number like 1000. And to further the effect, you can add noise and the posterize effect to make the gradient even more gritty. Subscribe if you want to be the best at After Effects and always be creative.